Hi, I'm Ann from MadamStar.com. In this video, I'll show you how to make a reversible kit summer hat. You can find the pattern and the full description on my blog where you can download the pattern and it exists in four sizes. I found the pattern on By Mic, and the biggest size is like for a seven-year-old and the smallest two-year-old. So you just need um, some cotton or linen fabric like 20 to 22 inch, two pieces, uh, some fusible interfacing, 20 by 22 inch as well, and your basic sewing tools. And if you want, you can use an edge joining foot to have some neat edge stitching and an adjustable guide foot for the stitches on the brims will help you a lot. So have fun watching! Start by printing and cutting out the three pattern pieces in the right size. You'll need four pieces of B and C and just two for A, the crown tip. Then cut out some fusible interfacing for all the pieces of the inside. Now put together the two C pieces, right sides facing, pin along both short sides and sew together at one fourth inch. Do the same for the B pieces. Pin the two circles together, the longest side of the side band B onto the shortest side of the brim C. Right sides facing and match the two seams you just stitched and then spread the fabric evenly. Sew together around the circle and be careful not to create any pinches. Pin the crown tip A onto the side band B right sides together and sew around the crown tip. Top stitch the two circles. Pin all the seams to the side band and top stitch close to the edge of the side band. I use an edge joining foot to stitch close to the edge. You put the guide in the crease and your needle in the left position. If not, you will stitch in the ditch. Now repeat the last steps with the other pieces. Now put the two heads together, right sides facing, pin the brims together and then sew around the brim C with a half an inch seam allowance. Leave a two inch opening to be able to pull the head through. Cut the excess fabric off and make small cuts in the seam around the side band. Leave one inch between the cuts. Now pull the head through the opening you left in the brim. The wrong sides are now inside the head and make sure that the heads are nicely aligned. Now pin or clip the, the edge of the brim and close the hole. If you want, you can just top stitch at the outermost edge of the brim. I use my edge joining foot and this way you close the turning hole. But I added some even rows of top stitching on the brim with my adjustable guide foot. The top stitching helps to strengthen the brim. So this way your hat will be less floppy. You just mark the distances for the rows. Put on your adjustable guide foot, line up the guide to the edge of your fabric or to a row you already stitched and the result, nice even curved lines. That's it! If you are making a hat with this pattern, I'd love to see the result and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me an email or leave a comment and if you want to subscribe to my channel, Click the button here. Bye.